has a little lion this statue spewing out 2016. water spew. Horoscope. Yeah, that's not a very attractive word, hear, but, but um, I know right Pisces, you know, I'm a Pisces moon, and we love the sound of water. It has so a little just that lion I would, statue spewing out water spew. Yeah, that's not a very attractive I would word, have that but video um, I know Pisces, you know, I'm a Pisces the, moon, and we love the sound of water. So just thought I would have that in the background to kind of enhance the enjoyment of the video. <laughs> Anyway, what's going on for us in February, Pisces? Well, the sun is in Aquarius, and it's been there since the end of January, and that is our 12th house. The 12th house energy is an energy that we are very familiar with as Pisceans because Pisces is the 12th sign of the zodiac, the 12th house in your chart. If there's any planets in there, gives it a Piscean feel. So we could be being extra dreamy, compassionate, creative, really charitable. The sun is very hot and it wants to just shine out into the world and show everybody, this is me, this is who I am, right? But when the sun goes in the 12th house, it's like it goes underwater because the 12th house and Pisces energy are like the deepest water, you know? So when the sun goes in there, it just kind of fizzles out and it sinks and it just hangs down in there like just floating along like yeah I just kind of want to be under the radar for a little while you know I don't really care to shine out very brightly right now so the Sun goes there to kind of rest so that's how Pisceans can be feeling while the Sun is in Aquarius and that is up until the 20th of the month because then da 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 the Sun goes into Pisces it's our time to shine then when the Sun is in your first house people are really gonna see you they're really going to pay attention to you and you're gonna want them to you're not gonna want to hide away as much you know as when the Sun was in the 12th house the 12th house is a time where you might be feeling extra drained and tired and need some rest but once the Sun goes into your first house it's like you get more of an energy boost you get more energetic you just want to get out there and stay busy and doing all kinds of things however on the 28th of February, the sun comes in conjunction with Neptune. Neptune in energy is something that we are also very familiar with as Piscean people because Neptune is our modern day ruling planet of Pisces. So any qualities that Pisces has, Neptune is the planet that gives them to us. When the sun in Pisces comes in contact with Neptune in Pisces, it's like all this extra Pisces energy. And we could be really floating along in our own world during that time around the 28th, not really wanting so much to be around people. Or if we are seen because the sun is in our first house, we are going to be like super, super creative. So if you are an artist, you are in the type of industry or anything involved in any type of arts, then around the 28th, some of your best can come out. So just keep that in mind. The negative side though is definitely more spacey and wanting to be more of a recluse and being more introverted you know so just watch out for that but hey that's an energy we're so familiar with already so we're just gonna be being ourselves damn it <laughs> so what's going on with Venus in the month of February for us Pisceans Venus is gonna be in Capricorn in the beginning of the month and that is our 11th house of friends groups organizations networking the internet so with venus being there venus is a very positive energy venus just wants everyone to get along and hold hands and sing songs and paint and draw together so oh and eat food together of course so great time for hanging out with friends while venus is in capricorn excellent time for hanging out with friends it can also bring on a relationship out of a friendship you know friendship turning to love Woo! and just in time for Valentine's month too so Pisces if you have had your eye on a friend for a while this is the month where it can you know you know it can turn into something else something better something more something romantic maybe who knows we'll have to see but Venus is gonna be in conjunction with Pluto and that's in the 11th house so this can mean really a friendship that wants to turn into more can heat up and become very intimate whatever you want that intimacy thing to transpire as whatever you want it to mean you know but it can mean just having very deep conversations and deep bonding with a friend or someone that you really care about so if that's something that you're open to Pisces it's all out there on the table for you to just grab on the 18th of February, Venus moves into the sign of Aquarius, and that's in our 12th house. So, Pisces, 
Venus in the 12th. Ooh, we are going to be floating along with this energy. It's going to bring out more of our Piscean side, more creativity. Um, it may, if it has to do with a relationship, it may make a relationship more private. And we don't really want everyone to know who we're hooking up with, who we're talking to. It may be like a long distance relationship because the 12th house does also rule very long far far away distances so you may be involved with someone and just be wishing dear god make me a bed so i can fly far far away far away from here <laughs> i don't know if anybody gets that where that's from forrest gump but anyway um you may be wishing that you can be with this person who maybe you were talking to on the internet when venus was in the 11th house because the 11th house is like social networking as well so you might be talking to somebody online then when venus moves into the 12th it's like oh i really wish because the 12th house is also fantasizing and pisces is very good with fantasizing fantasy creating these fantastic you know imaginative like scenarios in our heads so you can be really dreaming about this person like i really want to go see them i wish that they lived near me so that we can see each other but there are some other energies going on for pisces that can make that happen and i'll get to that in just a sec mars is in our ninth house and it's in scorpio so here's that energy that I promised you would be able to possibly help you with going to see someone that you have been dreaming about that lives long distances away. Mars in the ninth house, the ninth house is travel. So it's long distance travel. Mars is your drive and your action. So a lot of Pisceans, we are already prone to escapism and fantasy and always wanting to get away somewhere other than where we are. The ninth house is a similar energy but it's more fiery. It's not just up in our heads. It's like actually taking the initiative and the, the action towards moving, like getting away, you know, traveling by car, plane, bus, bike. It doesn't matter. However, we want to travel by rocket ship. Ooh, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> but anyway, so if we have someone we want to see that lives far away from us, Mars in the ninth can help us with that. One thing I would be careful with though, with Mars in the ninth house in Scorpio, is if you're going through a hard time, at all you are not going to want to face your problems head on you're going to feel like a runaway like you just want to run away from your issues and you're going to think the grass is greener on the other side somewhere else and just say you know what I, I just want to get away from it I just want to escape it so you're just gonna maybe if you have a fight with somebody or things are not going well in your life you just take off on a trip out of town or out of the state and just want to deal with your problems that way by running away i call the ninth house energy is similar to the energy of sagittarius and sagittarius is the sign that i refer to as being the runaways because they like things to be just happy and jolly all the time and always going their way and and sunshine and yay you know happiness and when they don't go their way they they want to run away and go somewhere to greener pastures so while mars is in our ninth house it's a very similar energy pisces just be mindful of that we still have issues that we need to take care of and tackle on our own. Being a runaway and going out of town, it may help us to clear our minds, especially if we go somewhere near water. That's ideal, especially with the energy of the 12th house happening for us this month. Maybe getting away and going near water and just releasing all of the hardships and pain and anxiety and everything that we're going through by being around a body of water may be helpful to us though. So it, it may be a good thing to get away, but don't forget once we get back the problems may still be there and we really need to face them but all in all mars in the ninth is a great time for travel just getting away and having a good time pisces so take advantage of that go to the ocean go to the beach i know you love it and have a great time and the ninth house is all about enjoying your life to the fullest so mars is driving you to do so mercury is coming out of his shadow period this month on the 8th of february finally and mercury has been in capricorn which is our 11th house now the good thing with mercury having been in retrograde in capricorn the last couple of months in our 11th house is the 11th house is friendships right so mercury also represents friendships and like communicating with people we could have had a lot of old friends pop up out of nowhere and say i miss you pisces where have you been why have you been hiding what's going on so 
it, it may have been a good time to really reconnect with some people. On the negative side, we may have had like some old exes and, you know, some like crusty old fools that were trying to hit us up a long time ago that we didn't really care for. Just pop up and be like, yo, what's up? Remember me? Nah, bro, I don't remember you. Delete. <laughs> that could have happened as well. All in all, you know, Mercury in the, in the 11th house, once it comes out of shadow on the 8th, it's moving forward. And it's a great time still for chatting with friends and networking with people, getting on social media, expressing our ideas and our creativity and everything. So great time for that with Mercury in the 11th house when we get to february 14th valentine's day mercury moves into our 12th house so we may not be as chatty and talkative because the 12th house energy is more introspective and introverted so a lot of deep thoughts especially memories of the past can be coming back to us while mercury is there in the 12th house However, Mercury is skills of the hands as well, besides being the mind, you know, and the 12th house energy. That's our home right there, Pisces. Oh my God, there's a bee again. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I need to find a different place to film because I'm like always getting attacked by bees over here. Sorry about that. Anyway, ugh. The 12th house is our home energy. It's like Piscean energy. It's very creative. So our minds can definitely be on some more creative endeavors it's skills of the hand so pisces a lot of us are very skilled when it comes to the arts with our hands we may draw paint dance you know move our hands like you know dancing and stuff and the 12th house is a great time to really express our creativity with our hands by anything that we do play instruments a lot of pisces are naturals with that and when the 12th house energy comes out to play it's like even more enhanced so great time for creativity but we may not be as talkative that's the only thing well jupiter jupiter continues to be in the sign of virgo which is our opposite sign pisces and the opposite sign the seventh house our descendant whatever you want to call it represents our relationships who we attract the most for serious long-term committed bonds with Jupiter being there in Virgo since the fall of 2015, we could have had a few scenarios. Either we've taken a relationship that wasn't very serious to the next level, or we're talking about it. Um, a lot of Pisces may be getting married within this year, or may have already gotten married and made the plans, gotten engaged, whatnot, whatnot. A lot of Pisces who are single may have just had a lot of suitors, if you will. A lot of people to date and go out on casual dates with and meet people and try out you know give them a little trial run and see if things work out and if they don't well then on to the next because Jupiter is expansive and Jupiter brings a lot to you wherever it is located in your chart by transit or in your chart when you were born so with the transiting there it can bring a lot of people to you that also goes for friends though, not just like, ooh, a boyfriend and girlfriend. It can bring just a lot of people to you to talk to and connect with, you know, on a just a one-to-one -one talking level. So those are a few different things that have been happening while Jupiter's been in Virgo for us. But Jupiter is retrograde right now. Jupiter has been retrograde from 22 to 19 degrees during the whole month of February. So any Pisces that have their sun, moon, or rising sign in those degrees, directly opposite you is Jupiter in Virgo so you're definitely going to be feeling that energy a lot stronger than most Pisces but all Pisces are gonna feel that Jupiter in the opposite sign energy one way or the other and dating mm-hmm good time for that um, retrogrades do go back so you can be going back over your dating life at this time maybe going back over a relationship if you're already in a relationship it's a good time to review and go back and refresh the relationship maybe it got stale and dull and you're talking with your partner like what can we do to revive it what can we do to hit that f5 button baby you know refresh our relationship get it back to where it was when we first met get that fire and that spark going Going again so Jupiter retro in your seventh great time for that Pisces there's a new moon in Aquarius on the 8th of February at 19 degrees Aquarius in our 12th house new beginning in regards to the 12th house the 12th house is very creative so we could be starting something new that is creative the 12th house is also a house associated with letting go especially letting go of things that have been up here for way too long way back there I should say so new beginnings can mean 
We're finally letting go of some old karma, releasing it. F finally, once and for all. And we may be looking back and reflecting on our lives during this new moon because the 12th house is the last house of the zodiac before we start over again with Aries, with the first house, you know. And Aries happens during the spring, right? The spring is when all the flowers start blooming and there's more new, you know, new growth and new beginnings in nature, right? Well, at least um, in the area of the world that I'm in, it's like that in the spring. And that's why it, Aries is like the beginning. The first house is the beginning and the 12th house is the end. It's like where you go to rest and to reflect and to relax. So a lot of self-reflection, a lot of inner reflection, a lot of reflection back on our lives as a whole may be happening with the new moon on the 8th. Also the 12th house is, is how we relax and it's our sleep habits. So if we haven't been sleeping very well, Pisces, I know I haven't, we can really find a new way to make better sleep habits for ourselves better routines and better ways of like relaxing because pisces we can be prone to anxiety we can be exposed to so much in the world and we're very absorbent so we take on so much every day and we need to find a way to release and relax so um, a new moon in the 12th house can definitely help us find new ways to do so on the 22nd of the month there is a full moon in virgo at three degrees in our seventh house of relationships. Ooh, Pisces. We are a sign that may be very lucky this month in love. I know a lot of people are looking for love in February because of Valentine's Day, ooh, right? But um, a full moon in our seventh house, it can definitely bring things to a head. Like say, we've been talking to somebody, we don't know whether or not the relationship is gonna go on a serious note, but the full moon, you know it can happen around that time where we finally just say you know what i can't take it anymore i have to confess my feelings and just tell it like it is oh i love both of those oldies don't you <laughs> confess and and express our feelings to the person that we care about and we want a relationship with that hey let's take it to the next level baby let's do this so that's definitely something that can happen on the full moon uh, if you're already in a relationship remember the full moon heightens our emotions and if it's in the seventh house it can bring some negative things like fights with a partner, like we just really get emotional on that day and we're like, oh my God, you didn't buy me anything on Valentine's Day. You don't care about me. I want to break up. It's over. That can happen. We can just get way out of control, you know, so just try to keep yourself level and everything. This time is temporary as far as, you know, the intensity but take advantage of it in a way that you can develop some new ways to bond with your partner and bring some new light and spark into your relationships, Pisces. All right, Pisces, so mainly to wrap it up, your main focuses for the month are going to be based in the 12th house, which is creativity, compassion, art, relaxation, letting go of old karma, reflection, that's going to be our emphasis mainly this month and it's a familiar energy to Pisces so you know it, it ain't a thing to us to go through that also the 11th house of friendships definitely highlighted so friendships can turn into love or we can just enjoy really good times with our friends our seventh house of relationships are going to be highlighted big time this month so if you're looking for love in all the right places you might just find it Pisces well take care Pisces don't forget to subscribe to my channel I am gonna continue doing horoscopes every month I absolutely love doing them it brings a lot of joy to my heart I hope everything goes well for you this month and that you get everything that your heart desires to all right take care Pisces peace